Puzzle number one. The weird font they use in this game. I mean, puzzle number one. Party Crasher. Okay, so we have a bunch of clues. This table is next to one with a red flower. This tablecloth is a different color than anyone next to it. And this table doesn't have a yellow flower. Alright, so let's solve this puzzle. It's not a table with a yellow flower, so it's not these three. It's not next to a table of the same color, so it's not the white tables which are next to each other. The yellow tables which are next to each other are the white tables which are next to each other. And it's next to a table with a red flower, so it's not this table here. The answer is this table. Hmm, how about this? No puzzle can stop Layton's Apprentice. Alright, pick rats, blah blah blah. And the presentation is about to begin. What you have to do is tap on the presenter. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking part in an event that will undoubtedly go down in scientific history. And here to demonstrate mankind's first time machine is its creator, Dr. Alan Stangan. Thank you, my esteemed colleagues. After years of research in the field of time travel, I am pleased to share the fruits of my labor. In just a few short moments, I will be moving on to our scheduled demonstration. First, I'm delighted to announce that Prime Minister Bill Hawkes is in attendance today. As such, I have reserved a very special seat for our very special guest. Please, join me on stage, Prime Minister. No need to be shy. All right, and here's the Prime Minister himself. Is this thing real? What do you mean? I mean... Is this contraption a genuine working time machine? Why don't you have a seat? See for yourself. Before we start, would you honor us with a few words, Prime Minister? Hooray! Prime Minister, yay! Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a monumental day, not only for our great nation, but for the entire human race. Since the beginning of time, we humans have strived to transcend our natural limits. We have conquered the skies and the seas, and we have even traveled to outer space. But the one frontier that has always eluded us is time. Indeed, traveling through time is a dream many thought was out of reach for humanity. Until now. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will join me in ushering in a new era for mankind. Hooray! Thank you for those words, Prime Minister. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Please take it away, Dr. Stangan. All right, everybody, let's see this time machine in action. I have just one more request before we start. One more request? Oh, I want to see the time machine. I very much appreciate the Prime Minister's assistance in this demonstration. What do you say, Mr. Hawks? What? I assure you, there's no cause for concern. But uh, I was under the impression that I would merely be observing the proceedings. All right, so he wants the Prime Minister to be the world's first time traveler. 
Ah, well, do forgive my presumption. It was never my wish to make you uncomfortable. I realize it's been some time since you traded in the hard sciences for the softer variety. Please, feel free to return to your seat, Prime Minister. Wait. Uh, what I mean to say is, of course I can assist you. Phil, have you installed mine? Ah, that's the courage we've come to expect from our fearless leader. You have my thanks. And now, without further ado, I give you my time machine. Mr. Hawks, would you mind just stepping inside? That's a pretty fancy looking time machine. But can it travel up to 88 miles per hour? That's what I want to know. Is it supposed to work like this? I think something went wrong. Time machine destroy strict wait what? Time machine demonstration goes awry. So you think that what happened last week is somehow connected to this letter? Wait, maybe if the time machine was real, this letter is real too. Well, I'm not sure the time machine was real because it sort of exploded and killed the prime minister. I don't know about that, but these two elements aren't the only puzzling issues. Tell me, Luke. Have you heard about the recent disappearances occurring here in London? Oh yes, I read about it in the paper. Some of London's greatest scientists have been mysteriously vanishing. Yes, and I can't shake the feeling that those disappearances are linked to this whole affair. In any case, it seems our best course of action is to head to the location mentioned in the letter. Good idea! 